what's up i'm back with another youtube video and today i'm going to react into high diaries coming clean on our relationship video and i know it's a day late but i was busy yesterday and i got back late so i didn't have time to watch it and react and i've been decorating my room this morning so it's like lunch time so yeah i'm just gonna get straight into it as it's like 21 minutes If it loads. As well. Have you ever cheated on me? Oh. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. This is I guess diaries. he's going to be spilling this video. Make sure you subscribe at the end. And, baby, this is my Already time subbed. to shine, okay? Yeah, you've had your time to shine. Hello, everyone. Welcome hey, to the video. So we've made Hi. a new channel. Well, actually, it's our first channel. It's not even new. This is just the first like time we're going to have made a channel for ourselves. Hi, diaries. Hi, um, everyone. And for anyone out there who's wondering what hi means, it's the connection of our names. We're going to try and be as like candid and as ourselves as possible, yes. which generally speaking, if you follow us on Instagram, it's a little bit weird anyway. We thought we'd start off with a bit more of an introduction yeah. video. You guys asked us to do couple tag. I mean, we yes, that yes, was we did. when you ask each other questions yeah. about your relationship. And we're going to just dive into how well we know each other, really. Also, if we get 150,000 <laughs> views in the first month, you have to get us a puppy in the next six months. In the next six? Yeah. All right, Aww. deal, because one, I don't think we get 150,000 views. Yeah, deal. I think the next six months will have a puppy. They better get a puppy. Right, you're looking after it. Hello? Did you mean first light? But yeah, first six <laughs> months we'll get a puppy, all right? Okay. If not, when will we get a puppy? In the next two years. Okay. Babe, you've got uni and I've got life, you know? Your life is me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what's your name? Full names, let's go. Honor Rose Lamberty. My name is Ryan Leonard Beaumont. I just had to check. Just to make sure. How Where did we meet and how did we name? meet? We met on a dating app. You direct request me on a dating app. You DM'd me on Instagram. I then Instagram messaged you. Okay, but we never spoke on the app. You That's true. me. That's true. But I would have only known who you are because you direct requested me. So you kind of chased me. But I came <laughs> calling. I know. Yeah. Calling, calling, calling. Yeah. It's kind of cool though. And we're both very lucky. Then we went to Kirsty, sorry. I didn't want to meet somebody I didn't know on my own. It's a safety precaution as well. I advise everyone to yeah. do it. So I got Rye to come round to Kirsty's. We said we'd meet at six. It got to about nine. I thought, okay, he's ditched me. And then he messaged me being like, okay, Harry. I'm about to leave. Um, and I was sorry. very apologetic. Yeah. Very. Oh, and embarrassed as well, more than anything. So he said, I'm on my way. And then I was like, okay, cool. I was a bit annoyed, but I was like, fine. Got to 11, still wasn't here. <gasps> Me and Cass were like, right, we're going to bed. We don't by care this, about boys. By this point, I was crippling with embarrassment. You should have felt sorry for me. That's playing the sympathy card. And then it got to 1.30 and I was on the way. He still oh, stayed up for me. And then 1.30 we met and we didn't stop we talking met. until 8 a.m. in the morning. Could have been a hair on the chin. I'd be human. You're a hairy so person, babe. What? First impressions. When I met you at that door, I was like, wow, he is so good looking. I, was, I gave you a hug and like That's you were really, really nice and welcoming and apologetic. I didn't really feel that nervous. Like, I felt so nervous going down on the lift to meet him. When I met him, I was like, oh, he's so nice. Then we got talking, a flowing conversation. He was so nice, intelligent. Like, wow, I'm in love. Thank I wasn't. You. Wasn't. I thought all the same things. You can't just say that. <laughs> no, I thought I, you know, you, you were beautiful, and then we went upstairs and we spoke for a long time. And during that conversation, as well, I was like, oh, this girl's great. Yeah, I am so great. Very great. I kind of got married there on the spot, and we never stopped talking. We just talk, spoke more and more ever since, yeah. and then just eventually we're like, yo, let's just get together, picketing yeah, like fucking rude boy. I, I hate it when he says rude boy. <laughs> I'm like, don't rude do boy rude boy. Don't Next say that. Question. Habits. Habitats. Do you have any habitats? This is my habitat. I'll do your habits. Go on. Is Rude Boy one of them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking you, Rude Boy. You get in a habit of just saying it after everything. Oh, can I have a tea? You fucking Rude Boy. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to let out your inner demons. And deep down, I'm a chav. Please, no, I don't, I don't like chavs. Babe, don't knock over the alcohol. Oh, no. <laughs> you pace. When you speak on the phone. I can't sit still when I'm on the phone. I do have to walk away. I do that. It just keeps I the brain going, like, that. circuit. You know what I mean? But I just see you, like, pick things up and you're just like... Yeah, True. stick your finger in it. And... Yeah, I love sticking my fingers in stuff. Okay. Keep me babe. Babe, don't do this! <laughs> sorry, sorry, this is... Sorry, right, yeah, cool, done, okay. yeah, sweet. Right, cool, stop yeah. touching me now. Your habits. You have this thing whenever we're leaving or whenever we're trying to go somewhere, you just, like, can't just leave. You just have to just do, like, this last thing. It's like, yeah, we're going, babe, but it's like, oh, I do, I do have this thing, remember, right? And I'll be downstairs and I'll be like, 
Right. And I do this feel like not true. I do feel like this is a girl thing. <laughs> I don't like, take that long to get ready. Yeah, I do that yeah, sometimes. No, it's not getting ready. It's like Probably just the leaving thing. bit. The getting ready bit, you're quite good at. To be fair, you're not like that long at like getting yeah. your hair done and things like that. But when it comes to getting out the door, it's like the Grim Reapers there <laughs> just stopping you. <laughs> Next one is any habits you wish I didn't do. Bro does this thing. If he's on a laptop, my laptop, his laptop. This. Just dig his fingers into the screen. And I am a screen poker. <laughs> Let's talk about your annoying habits, shall we? Okay. You talk in your sleep, you fart in your sleep, I do you not burp sleep. in your sleep, I do and not you snore. These are all lies. No, it's not. You definitely talk in your sleep. He films No, I don't. I just have an app that records it. Because one time, still filming me this one sleep. time three months ago, she, she did this thing in the night. You just stay back there. And woke me straight up, and she was just like, So, today we've got Ryan Beaumont, and would you like one, two, or three? What are you? <laughs> Game show host. And I was like, I need to record you forever now when you're sleeping. Recorded her for about two nights, and then I forgot to do it. Did you hear that? Anyway, do we have a tradition? We do. So, yeah. on the first of every year, first of January, we I've decided. Done it once, by the way. We have, and we succeeded. We jump in a lake, no matter the weather conditions. It has to be a big, natural, massive water. It's like a cleanse at the start of the year. That's cool. Also, cute story, really cool. quick. <clears throat> Where I told me afterwards. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> so he told me afterwards that he was gonna like make it official when we had jumped in the lake but it was so cold he literally got cold feet i did and didn't ask me in my head it was a romantic idea that when, when we got in the romantic. lake i'd just hold her in the lake and be like do you, do you want to go out with me it turned out that it was a lot colder than that <laughs> <laughs> there's no way i'm getting words out right now so we just ended up getting out of there getting home getting and dry. he literally uh, made it official right on this sofa oh. right there. in my head i asked her out when we got in the lake what was our first road trip you were my first road trip. This is true. What do we <laughs> argue about the most? I know what the answer is to this. Because we don't really argue, but there's no. one thing that gets us every time. Who's on tea duties? I'll be like, I'm not doing something. And I'm like, I'm off to make me a tea <laughs> for myself. If you try and make it like a one-on-one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one -on -one thing, they'll be like, no, you make the tea. No, you make the tea. And then it'll end up in like a full-on fist fight. Yeah, but other than that, we don't argue. We're just not that argumentative it's kind of couple. Compatible. We kind of bicker sometimes, but it's like kind of banter. That's like about like, should we go on the tube? Or should we drive? And I'm always like, let's drive because then we don't get coronavirus. And she's like, no, let's go on the tube. It's so organic. And I'm like, so indie and art student. Who wears the <laughs> pants in the relationship? If you check under those jeans, you've got knickers on right here. No. Pants. That's not a valid argument. Yeah, it is. Well, in America, we're both wearing pants. I say it's pretty unanimous that I wear the pants. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Alexa. Watch this. Who oh, wears you the pants my in the relationship? Here's something I found on the No, I don't care. Alexa, say Ryan Beaumont. <laughs> I don't know that one. <laughs> exactly. I wear the pants. Always have to agree to disagree there. Maybe we could do a whole challenge video around who wears the pants. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's a good idea. idea. On to the next bit. Oh, this is the drinking rounds. There's a lot of people that do these kind of videos out oh, there and they're okay. pretty, they don't appreciate it. It's a bit boring. It's like, oh, yeah, great. You've got a tradition. Yeah. You've got a habit. Shut up. What we're going to do is we're going to involve some of this. And we're going to get pretty pissed and then ask each other some questions. There are some brutal, dirty questions in it. Mm -hmm. To do that, we're going to play a quick, quick fire round first of some amicable questions to do with each other's backgrounds. I'm so excited because we have no idea what it's we're true. asking we don't know each what, other. We don't know what the questions are. Don't look at my phone. It basically, if you get the question wrong, you have to take... That's not a shot. Okay. Let's go. Quick fire. Make it quick fire. Okay. What is the name of the shop? We get our disposable photos. Snap, together. snaps. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Fucky rude boy. What's the name of my dog that is deceased? Bex. All right, you get away with that. When is your mum's birthday? That's unfair. <laughs> that's unfair, because you know that's, that's my not unfair question. You deli you're bullying me, because you know I can't remember birthdays. Birthdays are not in my, like, oh, brain. It's they quick just don't fire, babe. It's there. quick fire. You're meant to know it. That's okay. bad. 11th. That's what I, I said. Even double checked him That's what I said. I literally said 11 months. Shut. I shut, said. Shut, 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 shut. Playback. Shut. I'm not happy with it. It's my mum. You've used my family yeah. against me. Against me. Sorry, mate. Right, that's half the shot out. No, it's not. There's two drops. What a rude boy. You okay? I would also like to state that we've done this many shots before this video started as well. Just to get ourselves into the pace. Oh. Next question. Fill it up. Uh, well, 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 up. Name four places that I have lived in. That's a bit hefty. Go on. Oh. I'll get the shot ready. Spain. Too broad. Ben Navis. All right, fair play. Summer Reset. Too broad. Street. Yep, fair play. London. I mean, it's kind of obvious, yeah. Bristol. <laughs> Never lived in Bristol, just went there a lot. No. Actually, I did live in Bristol. Wait, no, 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 this is one. 
think it's a joke. It's just a funny joke. <laughs> Start dribbling everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my go. It's your go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. Have you got rude boy coming out your mouth? Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm a fucking rude boy. Name three V&A exhibitions we've been to. Easy. Exhibitions, really quick. Exhibitions. <laughs> exhibitions. Exhibitions. Mary Quaint. No. Mary Kane. Okay. You know that I'm getting this right. Mary Quaint. It is Mary Quaint. It's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know who it is? The fashion lady. Mary Quaint. No. Mary Kate. Mary Ain. <laughs> Come on. What's her f***ing name then? Can What's her name? Mary Quant. Oh, bollocks to that. Nah, that's Mary bollocks. Not Mary. Bollocks. Mary Quant. Shut up, you French. Not... History of cars. And, and, oh, and the photo thing. The photo thing. The What's photographer. The photographer. Shit, I can't remember his name. That's bollocks. That's yeah. I remember the exhibition. I remember the exhibition. That's <laughs> bollocks. You're telling That's me. bollocks. I remembered. I remembered. <laughs> oh. But what, your chin landed on my shin. It's <laughs> chin shin. <laughs> so I'm crazy. Winning. Thanks, babe. You've had long enough. You don't need to I don't care. What's his name then? Go on, you tell me. You're taking a shot for it. No, I'm not. I'm out. Alex, 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 Alex Golding. Alex Benjamin. <laughs> you're, you're a bully and I don't like you. Right? Okay. I remember everything about that exhibition except Ex for the f***ing name. Well, I'll remember the name Tim next Walker. time then. I was so close with Alex Golding. It's the same amount of syllables. <laughs> All right, my question now. What's the name of the town my family live in? Street. That's bollocks. All right, next question. Okay. That's a big shot. Hard. What bank? Is my debit card. Lloyd's. Nationwide. That's bollocks! <laughs> what bank's mine? HSBC. Ah! Fair play, you know. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't know she knew that. You'll be going through my cards. Next question. What hospital was I born in? <laughs> what oh. the hell? St. Rise. <laughs> you got it wrong. What? Drink that. Babe, you put some back. No, that's not a shot. That's not happening right now. Get that down here. <laughs> yeah. If I can tell you what your what hospital you were born in, because I remember where Queen Charlotte's Hammersmith. Nope. I remember speaking to your mum about it. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's where you were born. <laughs> the hospital is now in W12 Ravens Court Park. They moved the year you were born. <laughs> I know that from memory, and because I spoke to your mum earlier about it. But you were born <laughs> there, so don't bullshit me. Drink that drink. You didn't know mine. You thought I was gonna tell drink. you and be like, okay. What hospital was that? Yeah, I did. So I had it prepared. Me and Flora were teaming up. <laughs> That's not fair. Drink. Fuck's sake. I'm going to dilute it with my tears. Oh, just stick it in your eye. <laughs> what was my primary school called? I'm just so drunk I can't speak right now. Alexa, what primary school did Anna Lamberty go Stop. to? Stop. I'm sorry, but I couldn't find what you're looking for. It's worth a shot. The Fulham School of... Great kids with massive potential. Oh, what a coincidence. Oh, no. <laughs> That's bollocks. That's so much more than you just did. Do you want me throwing up in your bed all night? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my two birthmarks? What? Yours is on your back. Where's my... No, it's not. Yeah, it is. That's Rosie's, you freak. Oh, yeah, she. <laughs> he knows my best Yours is on your leg. birthmark. Yours is on your leg. Okay, and what is it in the shape of? That's bollocks, this isn't your question. No, Where's my birthmark? Gone. Where's my birthmark? On your body. Oh, shit, fair play. <laughs> Next question. Uh. No, you can't have that. <laughs> What's that? Robbie? Drink up. Look at me. I'm a mess. I'm a f***ing... He's so drunk in this one. Just down it. Go. Please, I'm down, it. I'm down, it. down it. Down it. Down it. Down it. No, it won't actually be safe. <laughs> down it, you pussy. No, one of the first times I came over, I went home in one of your hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which hoodie it was, but I can take a guess. Not no, I can take a guess. Was it grey? No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. <laughs> the one from H and M with the flowers on the back <laughs> that says a more. I love that hoodie. Pink and stinky. We're all pink and stinky on the inside. Oh, the microphone is. Next question. Um, what's my favourite colour? Blue. Fair play. What university do I go to? The one in King's Cross. We've been dating for seven months. And London we've... University of Royal Arts. Fuck. You're full of <laughs> He doesn't know my university. Should I tell you? That's so bad. <laughs> 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 you have done that. 
I could have died. What's my pet hate? I told you what this is as well. Lack of work ethic. I mean, that's annoying, but no, it's not my pet hate. Okay. So, better fill that glass up. We've had to retake this as well. We thought we'd warn you. The camera broke on the first one. There was no We've sound. We've already done like. We've already done three this. Shots. We've got a bit lighter on the shots this time. My pet hate is when people do this. You've that, never said that to me. That can piss us do me. I do that? No, not really. That whole look to me is like you disrespect me and who and I am as a human. Yeah. That's grim behaviour. I would never do that to another you? person. Next question. Name my three friends I bought for the speed dating video. Emma, Becky, Kirsty. Yeah. Yo, 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 Piffing. Name the public figure I most respect. No, no, exactly that who this is as well. Come on, what's his name? <laughs> Was that? I know it's his name. You, Three. Right? I know his Two. name. Two. Stephen something. One. No. Not a chance. It's not Stephen. Drink up. What is that? I'll tell you what you're drinking. Lawrence Krauss. Mm. You know who you are. You're probably watching this video. What are my three pets' names? Um, I definitely know the first one as well. He it's because of that. The dog. Okay, that's go for the dog. That's why I don't know. <laughs> Snowden. No, that's the cat. Okay. Snowden's the cat. That counts. Leo's the dog. Mango is... Leo the cat. Yo! Yo! At a... <laughs> That's a wrap on that bit. Now we get okay. to the brutal question. That's why you okay. clicked watch. This is so make sure right. you subscribe. subscribe to like my dive. the video and subscribe. comment something. And make sure it gets 150 views so I get a puppy. 150,000, babe, not 150. Okay, First right. question, go. Don't be like that mean as well. Have you ever cheated on me? Oh, that's a bit brutal. But no, never, because I love you. Aww. No, you just <laughs> when did you first know you loved me? Actually, when we had like a little altercation. We'd literally been officially dating 10 days. I went to a party, got so drunk and I didn't mean to. He was like really upset that I got like really drunk. I was so upset. With Kirsty, Becky and Emma. Bad influence. Becky, you're actually a funny person. You're actually a rude boy. You're a boy. F***ing rude boy, Becky. Not you, rude boy. Sorry. But he got really disappointed and I was like, oh my god, I actually love him. I fucking love you, Aww, rude boy. What's your favourite memory of us together? I've loved literally every single minute of being on team with you. Like, there's, we haven't had an argument. We've had so much fun. I feel like it's like been a real, like, test of our relationship. Like, honestly, it's been so good. My god. What's your least favourite thing so about you? Cute. What the f***? Uh, uh, um, sometimes you compromise what you want because you want to make sure that people around you That's not true Get what they want Whereas sometimes you just need to be like Fuck you guys This is what I want to do I think sometimes you could just be like Do you know what babe, tonight we're having pasta And I'll be like, whoa, <laughs> she knows what she wants Next, Next question. question What's the one thing you're scared to ask me but really want to know the answer to? This is a really hard one. Go, answer. I feel like I'm putting myself in like a vulnerable situation. How do I know everything you tell me that you haven't said to your exes, the fact that you really love me? Here's what's great about us, okay. right? We're making these videos for us as well as for you guys. So I'm more than happy to be as honest as possible. And I have told some exes that I love them. I never felt like I really, really meant it on all levels. There's always like question marks. And we always spoke about the question marks with my exes. And it was a very open thing. With you, I've I've always said to you, there's no question marks. Why I would couldn't imagine a full future with you. Have you ever said that I look good when I don't? Nope. I normally tell you when you don't look like the best. I literally told you before this video to take off your shit track. <laughs> yeah, I was wearing tracksuits and they're like... <laughs> A matching tracksuit top. It looks I'm a gonna bit. dress my comfies. What's your favourite physical quality about me? I don't know if this is too general, but your face. Slap it. So he does have a good Slap face. it harder. No. Fucking ah, <laughs> hell! Fucking <laughs> rude boy! Fucking <laughs> rude boy! Your turn, go on. I'm sorry, I'm just saying we're not doing shots I'm anymore. Sorry, am I in the doghouse tonight? No, you're not. Okay. How long did you think the relationship would last when we first started dating? I was excited to see where it would go. I didn't really know how long it would last. I was so, hoping it would last a long time. How about when you, like, made it official? I knew it was my thing and that was it. It was done. I no longer needed to look for another woman. Did She's you know? got the best family. Her family is sick. Shout out to my family. Other than Noah. Noah's an Other than Noah. Sorry, Noah. You are discarded Noah? from the family in that sense. You are a little piece of shit. Yeah, when I met your family, I was like, yo. So it's fuck. not That's about me. me? <laughs> the fuck? Do you have a type? I swear down, I don't have a type for people who are in a band. I'd say I'm more attracted to people who are, like, really intelligent. I've got something to say. I fuck with that. What's Fair to play. What's the one thing you feel like our relationship is lacking? A puppy. Next question. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's your favorite way to receive affection? Cuddles. Aw, cuddles. Like, aw. What's the one thing about me I see as a flaw that you love? Your round face. I love the round face. <laughs> round My face. little round face. <laughs> So cute! Have you ever doubted us being together? I saw some posts online about you having a girlfriend, but you told me that you actually didn't, and they were old posts. That was kind of cleared up. Admit, it would be very difficult for me to have a second girlfriend, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. Where would I fit the time in for a second? Because we did spend a lot of time together. I'd have to be the time. busiest guy in the world. Literally. To have two girlfriends. Yeah. When was the last time you said something flirty to another guy? Probably just before I met you. Do you know what? You can flirt with our puppy. I'll flirt with our puppy. You can kiss it on the I'll, lips. I'll kiss our puppy on the lips. What is the biggest lesson you've learnt from previous relationships? Be patient because girls don't always mean what they say. And that's not a stereotype. I think that's just a rule of thumb for people in general. My friends can say stuff and I'll be like, ah, oh, shut up. And they'll yeah. feel different the next day. With your girlfriend, yeah. it's normally because they've got a problem with you, most likely, or... They've had a bad day and they're letting it out on you, but they're only letting it out on you for some reason. The chances are, if you're a bit patient with it, and you kind of go, come on, what's the real problem? At the right time, then you'll probably get the truth. And let's talk it over and watch some Netflix. Do you ever think about an ex? And when was the last time you messaged an ex? Pretty much just before we got together. Thought about an ex is tricky because I don't think about them in like an I miss you way. It's just yeah. like you think about memories and you're like, Oh shit, yeah, they were there at that time. If anything, those memories helped me carve like a better future for us, hopefully. That's our first video. That's our first video. It's done. High five. Yay. Yeah, high five. What does a high five look like, babe? Let's show everyone. Three, two, two one. <laughs> That's not actually what it looks like. Oh, they're making it up as they go along. Looks like it. Yep. Thanks for watching guys <laughs> make sure you subscribe and let us know if there's other videos you want to watch there's so many things in the world so you can many. go and see be inspired not right now though because it's uh coronavirus and you should so stay indoors don't go outside although our next okay. video is camping what oh i'm excited see you later guys make sure you leave a comment and we'll subscribe what? <laughs> so drunk. Where's your button? I don't know. I'm just gonna get it for you. Okay. There it is. <laughs> well, I like that. I like that video. It's funny. And I'm really hoping I haven't messed up the video of this because my nan came in. I'm like, I have to stop and then pause the screen recording so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I might have to screen record it again. So that's peak. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed um this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. Peace. Bye.